does vitiligo happen with eating fish over milk? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a funny question. Um, yeah, you know, it's uh, there's so many misconceptions when it comes to vitiligo. You know, the with skin diseases, your patients, you know, they're the public can see what's afflicting them. And you know, vitiligo is one of those conditions where it's very, very you know, it's what you see, it's very prominent. You know, you, vitiligo frequently affects the skin of the face, the hands. These are things, these are parts of the body that are difficult to cover. And that, you know, everyone's looking in your eyes, everyone's looking around your eyes, everyone sees these things. There's also a lot of uh, theories that, you know, all the aunties and uncles have about, you know, the causes of these sorts of conditions. And I can tell you, none of them are rooted in any science whatsoever. So I haven't, I haven't heard that particular one that you just asked me, but no, there's absolutely zero correlation. I mean, there's never been any food or any particular diet preference that's been associated with vitiligo.